Today, our topic is Stockwell Transform and Data Mining Based Fault Diagnosis Method to Protect Microgrid. The main objective of this research is to detect and classify faults occur in the microgrid by using Stockwell Transform and Data Mining techniques. Coming to the introduction, so micro, microgrid is designed to provide power for the small community. It gives authority to local power generation for the local loads. In an electrical power system, a fault is nothing but any abnormal electric current flow in the circuit. So the main challenges facing the development of microgrid production are, first one is, there are different technologies in microgrid so like AC microgrid, DC microgrid and sometimes AC by DC hybrid microgrid. So this is a, one of the challenge uh, we face to develop the microgrid production system. The so second one is there are two types of operation in microgrid. One is islanding mode and another one is grid planted mode. So the third one is there are different uh, possible topologies such as radial and measured configuration. So the different types of configurations will be there. And the last one is it is all it is also connected or integrated with the distribution generations. So these uh, challenges are uh, very critical topics for operation of uh, protection power system, and also uh, it is very difficult to uh, make a protection relay uh, in microgrid. So we are proposing a method to detect the faults in microgrid. So the main uh, proposed methodology consists of three steps. So in the first step, we will measure the current and voltage responses. The basic uh, quantities which are current and voltage. In the second step, we have to extract the futures from the raw current or raw voltage signals through Stockwell transform and fault detection classification through various data mining methods. So you can see the flowchart here. It is starts from start and we measure the uh, value of volt, uh, fault voltage and we decompose the voltage signal using Stockwell transform. We extract the futures and then uh, fault diagnosis is done through different uh, data mining techniques. So why we are using Stockwell transform? So there are many uh, signal processing techniques are there like Fourier transform, uh, wavelet transform, uh, there are many are there but why we are using Stockwell transform? So Stockwell transform also has been used at many different workplaces like signal analysis of geographical, uh, geophysical activities. Filtering of signals and disturbance detection in power system can also be easily identified because the transform captures very minute changes in the signals. So Stockwell transform have ability to uh, capture the, any minute changes in the signal. So that is the reason why we are uh, choosing Stockwell transform over a conventional uh, Fourier transform or uh, wavelet transform. So these are the basic equations of the Stockwell transform. So these are the different uh, supervisor machine learning algorithms which we are used in uh, in this paper. So we can see briefly. Uh, we have used decision tree and uh, back tree, naive bias, support vector mission, and uh, k nearest neighbor algorithm. Each have their advantages and uh, disadvantages. So coming to the results and discussions. So how we validated our proposed methodology so we have took one microgrid so you can see the diagram here so the proposed methodology is verified on microgrid uh, we have taken some rating here so the operating voltage of the entire microgrid is 12.47 uh, kV so actually it is a 115 kV which is uh, stepped down to 12.47 kV you can see the in left hand side of the pick here so the, it is a 115 kV uh, grid line is coming and it is stepped down to 12.47 kV. And the system consists of 3 megawatt wind system and 2 megawatt photovoltaic system. 
so you can see it the green color it was uh, represented here and the photovoltaic system are interface with the system by using photoelectronic converters a droop type control is employed for all distribution generators to operate the microgrid in both modes without controller mode switching a 0.630 a 0 by 12.47 kV transformer interfaces the distribution generations with the microgrid while uh, 115 by kV 115 by kV by 12.47 kV transformer is used to connect the microgrid with the utility grid which I have discussed earlier. A detailed fault investigation for all conditions in the studied microgrid is performed. So the fault types uh, contemplated in this article are the single line to ground fault and double line to ground faults and line to line faults. So here a short circuit fault LLL fault is given to the feeder one at the time period of 0.5 seconds to 0.7 seconds. The source voltage is observed at the pre-fault and post-fault condition it is shown in figure one. So here the voltage uh, diagram you can see here left side that is a pre-fault and post-fault in the pre-fault fault in the pre-fault condition the voltage level is uh, in correct in a, in a equal way in a good way whereas in a post-fault condition you can see some uh, disturbance from 0.5 to 0.7 seconds uh, totally uh, all lines uh, all the uh, voltage value um, from 0.5 to 0.7 suddenly it the value uh, got interruption you can see some interaction between 0.5 to 0.7 similarly these voltage signals at pre-fault condition and post-fault condition are further decomposed in stockwell transform so the decomposed voltage signal during pre-fault and post-fault condition you can see the time frequency uh, responses of uh, pre-fault and post-fault condition in pre-fault condition a time frequency response you can see the yellow color here so the yellow color here represent the healthier condition so after fault you can see the entirely the yellow yellow color the bright color changes it changes into the uh, blue color so it is the post-fault condition which it indicates some uh, fault is occurred here So, so these high frequency components and low frequency components which we occur from the uh, decomposing the signal voltage signal is fed to the supervised machine learning algorithms. So you can see the confusion matrix here we have took around 5604 samples here and out of 2802 samples are fault signals and 2802 are non fault signals. So we have classified using different types of supervised machine learning classifiers and around we already we around we got 100% uh, accuracy here and similarly we have to find the which phase uh, the fault is occurred whether uh, phase A or phase B or phase C so it is now important task to classify the type of the fault and at which phase fault has occurred now where LG fault is given to the feeder one so say we are taking the same feeder system same microgrid and we are giving the here uh, single line to ground fault so phase A phase B and phase C voltage are decomposed further to investigate the fault type so again we are uh, attaining the time frequency plots from the Stockwell transform for all three phases phase A phase B and phase C condition so it is observed that during the fault condition phase b and phase c fault reason is bright so phase b and phase c are a bright it indicates it indicates there is no disturbance occurred in the phase b and phase c so where it is uh, something uh, wrong has happened here phase a reason is very dull and clearly indicates some fault is occurred here so we can say here a single line to ground fault is occurred in the feeder system in the grid in the microgrid uh, and the phase is phase A. So similarly here the high frequency components and low frequency components occurred from the decomposed single fed into 
supervised machine learning algorithms and we also uh, got around 100% accuracy here except uh, SGD method stochastic gradient descent method here we took around 4203 samples so we are uh, comparing our proposed method result to the existing methods so the, our proposed method stock well plus different machine learning algorithms yield around 100% uh, fault classification accuracy except for one stock uh, stochastic gradient descent method it is which we got around 96.57 so we compared it with the uh, different uh, proposed methodologies and different uh, existing methods in the literature so it is observed that proposed methodologies outperformed existed methods that are available in the literature. It is also observed that proposed methodology gave better results for both fault detection and uh, fault classification compared to existed methods. So we are uh, drawing some uh, conclusions here. The following conclusions are made after analyzing the results occurred in the previous sections are listed below. So faults are detected with 100% accuracy. Fault phase is identified. Fault type is classified with 100% accuracy except stochastic gradient descent machine learning classifier. The proposed methodology tested for both island condition and over grid condition. In both grid condition, proposed methodology yields better result. So this work can extend it further to classify the short circuit faults and DC AC arc faults, which is not done in this work. So these are my uh, references. Thank you.